Russian troops actively use drones, in particular reconnaissance ones, in order not to shoot them down with expensive surface-to-air missiles at $100,000 apiece, the armed forces of Ukraine are forced to improvise. In search of cheaper ways to counter Russian drones, the Ukrainian military has organized mobile fleets of trucks armed with machine guns, Forbes writes. In addition to a Yak-52 training aircraft with a shotgun in the back is used for these purposes. Moreover, the military has even trained drone operators to ram Russian drones with Ukrainian ones. Ukrainian crews are now shooting down Russian drones using machine guns mounted in the nose of Mi-8 transport helicopters. This is an echo of World War II, when machine gunners in the nose of heavy bombers protected their aircraft from enemy fighters. This week, a video appeared online showing one Mi-8 armed with a cannon. In the video, the gunner, sandwiched between the pilot and co-pilot of the helicopter, fires a machine gun through the nose, blowing up a drone flying directly under the helicopter. The article says, the Mi-8 helicopter has always had the ability to carry cannons under the wing consoles. They can also be mounted on open side doors. Only a few variants were armed with cannons under the nose. But probably any model with transparent glazing can be equipped with such weapons. The Ukrainian army has several types of Mi-8 with glazed noses in its fleet, which numbers about 75 Mi-8s and similar Mi-17s that's about 50 pre-war helicopters minus 25 wartime losses plus 50 new Mi-8 stroke 17s that Ukraine received from its allies. In pre-war photographs, several Ukrainian Mi-8s are shown with canvas flaps hinting at a possible future role for the helicopters as drone hunters, the author of the article notes. The Mi-8 cockpit is large enough for three crew members to sit side by side, two pilots and a gunner. It's an awkward arrangement, made even worse by the smoke that fills the cockpit with every cannon shot. But that doesn't mean an Mi-8 with a gunner on board isn't an effective drone killer. One of the earliest modern drones shot down did just that in Bosnia in the early 1990s. A volcano in southwestern Iceland erupted, spewing ashes and lava the sixth such eruption since December, according to the Icelandic Meteorological Office. A volcanic eruption has begun. A fissure has opened east of Silangarfel, the Icelandic Meteorological Office said in a statement. The flare-up of the volcano, part of the Svartsengi volcanic system on the Reykjanes Peninsula, marks a continuation of intense geological activity in a region where eight volcanic blasts have been recorded since 2021. The last eruption occurred in a part of a newly active volcanic zone in Iceland that had been dormant for eight centuries before activity that started last December, with its most recent eruption starting in May. Scientists said they expected the zone to continue producing magma and generating eruptions every few months for years, possibly decades. Halder Bjornsson, head of weather and climate at the Norwegian Meteorological Agency, told the Icelandic news portal Viser, that unlike previous eruptions, the lava flow is not heading for the town of Grindavik that was largely evacuated in December when the volcano came to life after being dormant for 800 years. With every eruption, we see new unforeseen events, said Matthew Roberts, the managing director of the Icelandic Meteorological Office, which tracks volcanic activity in addition to weather patterns. Iceland's National Airport and Air Navigation Service provider Isavia said flights to and from Iceland were operating normally despite the continuing eruption. The eruptions show the challenge faced by the island country of nearly 400,000 people as scientists warn that the Reykjanes Peninsula could face repeated events for decades or even centuries.